पति बेगर्स As a learned, the friend of the ignorance, so the king is the protector, giver of life to all his subjects. The trees are also subjects of the king, therefore they should be given protection. Now you have taken how many examples to <laughs> illustrate? I was taking a plea uh, to the prachetas. Prachetas were in water, and uh, they don't remember the sacrifices, tapasya. they were blessed by one lord shiva the 10 prachetas and they have tremendous power now actually their father prachina bari sent them to some tapasya before you enter household or life so even to enter household or life we should have some tapasya and tapasya begins by brahmacharya tapasena brahmacharye na samena damena va yagena sat saucavyam yamena niyamena va like that tapasya has been explained today that's not the scenario there is no tapasya and instead of that uh, the people you know they just maybe flatter nobody trains tapasya means something which is not good for me today but ultimately is good for me Arjuna was not looking for that is called prayas 
Prayas means immediately it is good. Shreyas means ultimately it is good. The sense is there to some extent, but not more. That like a child wants to play whole day. The parent will say, study, otherwise what is your future? Some sense is there. But it is not spiritual, it is material. So he has taken so many nice examples. Eyelids protect the eyes. Correct? Then, what is the other example? Huh? Huh? Yeah, householders protect, not the poor. Not the poor. Householders protect the uh, brahmacharis and sannyasis who come for bhiksha. In the Vedic culture, if you go to beg, you are arrested. You may also get a death penalty. It's not allowed to beg. Everybody should work and maintain himself. Begging was only allowed for the brahmanas and the sannyasis because they are busy with other activity. They are also should be busy. You got the civilization. Today people say, no, give food to the poor. You should not do that. Let him work. Correct? Why he wants free food? Like take, take a, a city like Mangalore. By God's grace, you don't find people begging because people here will not do that. They will work. Ekka dukka, you will find jokers. You find them sometimes. But overall, people know there, I should work to maintain myself. True? So, the society does not encourage what is known as idle parasites. There is nothing like that. The Vedic, you will be punished. You suppose, you know, sometime you, outside the temples, you see people lined up. As, they should be punished, actually. They should be arrested. It's not allowed. They cannot have free food. Correct? They are just sitting there. No, temple they can definitely have free prasad. That is okay. But people are just sitting there. You have seen that? The Bhagavan Bhala Karega Dorupi. And what are they having? They are not having life, life of Brahman or the sannyasis. They are cheating actually. True or not? They should work. Everybody should work for maintenance. They should not be... Uh, Prabhupada used to say actually. So many things. In fact, once what happens, devotees come to Prabhupada. That's a side business, but it was very, very interesting. So Prabhupada, uh, uh, all your temples, somebody comes to Prabhupada, are like Vaikuntas. As if you have installed Vaikunta on earth. We go there, we feel so nice. Anybody goes there, feels spiritual inspiration. Prabhupada said, yes, provided you follow the four regulations. Otherwise, it will become something else. <laughs> and then it will not endure. Correct? What I used to joke, no? Joint miss. It will not endure. Prabhupada, it will not endure. So Prabhupada said, don't make it like a hotel. It should be, I remain a devotee's place. And devotee means, the more we increase our service spirit, the more the place will be beautiful. Can I? Like everybody is doing service, that should be their service spirit. I have to do some service. Always. The more, but the more we allow ourselves not to follow the regulations, not to chant the rounds. Correct? Then what happens? It, Prabhupada says it will not endure. Very interesting point it is saying. It will not endure. It will not stay. It will go. But if it, there is bhava, Prabhupada should say sometimes, there is a bhava, service spirit, let me serve Krishna. The place will become Vaikuntha. Otherwise Prabhupada said it will become a place where the pigeons come and pass tool. You have seen some places? If you travel some temples, there is no caretakers, no cleanliness. And there were a lot of birds which have made nests all around the place. Previous times, okay, there was somebody with bhava, he built for the Lord a beautiful temple. And there are people worshipping. Now they are empty. So many places you see when you travel Tamil Nadu also. Some huge temples are there. No people to take care. Some of the places. And uh, only birds passing stool. And uh, there will be dogs, which is not, you know, in a temple we don't keep do dogs roaming inside in that premises here, there. You know, you just, just feel very uneasy when you see no cleanliness, nothing. Why? The bhava has gone away. Prabhupada said it will become big, big godowns. Suppose you buy a huge place, build a huge place. But there is no bhava. It will become big, big godowns. And then to maintain that, you have to do so much natak. If there is a bhava, then people will come, that the Lord of devotees will come, the service to the Lord will go on with so much pleasure. And everything will be very nice. So that is the responsibility. Now anyway, so now here the focus is on this king. The kings, Pracheta, they are the kings, extremely powerful. 
somebody was joking there is special genetic engineering in the sense that these kings were really powerful the ordinary subjects cannot match them you know in uh, ramayana the ramad was more powerful than whole his army together true or not when he came to fight it was very serious he came alone practically to fight at the end but when he came it was very serious he had more power than all the soldiers who had come before true maybe except his son meghnath who was also very powerful the shatriyas were extremely powerful that even arjuna when he came if arjuna would have withdrawn battle was over so nothing to fight there over correct if karna would have withdrawn duryodhana would not even come to the battlefield that's why krishna before the war goes to karna that you are the eldest son of the pandavas we will give the throne to you they were so powerful these people you know bhishma drona or other soldiers just time pass they are there <laughs> something not much very important because alone they were killing i know there were the days in which one one akshahoni or even more when the uh, abhimanyu died next day arjuna eliminated out of 11 5 or 6 akshahonis in one day half the army ate up in one day so imagine the comparison between him and the other soldiers therefore they were called maharathis atirathis they can you know at at the same time they get engage thousands of soldiers they were extremely powerful so the prachetas have come it's not the other person can rule now they have too powerful there you cannot think up you know today is like a democracy no qualities no qualification you can be the monarch some of you know trick is joke actually there the kshatriya kshatriya means he should be extremely powerful is there some reason he should be uh, we are making him the king of the country correct today they will declare war just like they declare war against china and the people who declare war were hiding and having nice bread bread butter nice comfortably they're eating and the poor soldiers practically without weapons died in the war we all know the history actually actually the joke is mistakes happen i am saying this material the person who does it has to be punished they all get away so many soldiers died without weapons nothing was there just war was declared not at all prepared huh? fight it's a, such a joke actually it is <laughs> but previously it's not like that the kshatriya will be in the front he knows the ground situation and will in the front Prabhu says, "What's the encouragement for a soldier when a king is hiding? Hmm? He's hiding inside bunker. You know, no. whatever it is, he is not his damad or he is not his son who is going to fight for him. They fight, but when the king is in the front, that's the encouragement. Yeah, he is taking the lead. And if you kill the king, over, but you cannot kill the king. He's too powerful. It's like in the Mahabharata war, they try to arrest Yudhishthira, because if he is arrested, war is over. You know that." and therefore satyaki and other people protected him otherwise they used to take arjuna some other place and dronacharya said i'll arrest him because if he is arrested over war is for who will be the king yudhishthira or duryodhana you understand but here situation a little different even though yudhishthira maharaj was not the most powerful personality the five pa- four pandavas were supporting him were extremely powerful particularly bhima and arjuna were extremely powerful okay so he was the greatest moralist that was his quality so something should be there uh, something should be there uh, therefore the, the king has to have that feeling proper says today therefore in the previous proper to proper said today we do not see the people are protected why the people are not protected because the leaders are busy protecting themselves mera post na nikal jaye now the government is there a state or center both are in tension election is coming if i lose the post so when you are bother about your own safety where is the time to think about people's safety is it true or not so this system is nonsense are find a good man give him power for ever unless there is some serious crisis then impeach him we give him power for ever what is the system you have to keep changing that means you are not able to de- decide properly or what why change why change they have no government every around the world in 4 years 5 years 6 years the change of the government what is the nonsense you find a good person can't you find in the country of 1.2 billion people one genuinely good person can't you find you'll find make him the king give him all the powers over over 
he'll manage. In case something, have a system of check and balance, but give him the power. He doesn't have to, if he knows, if he knows that I am doing this work and there are certain things, norms which I have to follow, and if I follow those norms, then I don't know worry about my post. I can work. True. But you cannot do today. Continuously you have to be in fear. Therefore, Prabhupada was very much again in multi-party democracy. Even if somebody is doing good, the other party cannot congratulate. They have to criticize him. Very Prabhupada said, this nonsense system actually. It's a wrong, wrong system. Nobody can actually do anything in this world with this system. And the people are worried about their own safety uh, and what they will do good to the society. So the protection has come. The protection has come for the trees and plants. They are saying that you are father and you got order from your father and the Lord himself whom you took darshan when you did tapasya to populate the universe. And now if you are going to kill all the trees, your subjects need trees. Correct? Just like it has happened now around the world. The trees have been destroyed for so many reasons. And the result is this, that there is no uh, what is a proper balance in the atmosphere. Correct? You know that. Too many trees which are killed, but disturbs the whole, whole ecosystem. Everything is disturbed. So unnecessarily killing of the trees is not warranted. In fact, for that you have to see reaction. And today, trees are actually generally killed unnecessarily. For what? Paper. And what do you use the paper for? Printing nonsense books and magazines. That is sinful. If you cut a tree and take the wood and make paper, and out of the paper you print Bhagavad Gita or any way glorification of the Lord, the tree will be blessed. And if you take that, cut that tree and you print the nonsense newspaper, then you will get punished for that. Can I? You unnecessarily gave some inconvenience to the tree. Unnecessarily, uh, you have created a difficult condition for the tree. Actually, that is what the civilization is. The real problems of life, birth, death, older and disease are staying where it is. Artificially, we are being cheated by the so-called scientist that we are making progress. And I tell you a joke. The animals are very happy because the scientists are not cheating them. True or not? Animals are very happy. You see, practically you see all this true. We have this, this scientists have gone and disturbed their life also. But in the cheating, I am telling in the sense of uh, the scientists are coming to us that we will give some comforts. But instead of that, they are only creating more problems. And we are getting cheated. And actually animals, if you look, they are more comfortable. They are able to meet their four demands, eating, sleeping, mating, defending very comfortably very easily compared to us. They are not starving. They are not shivering in cold. Even if you can go in Antarctica, they are there. By God's grace, they have bodies. They can comfortably live there. But human society is ha actually is a truth, is being cheated today. And somebody has to speak against it actually. True or not? It is getting cheated. We have been given some kind of a magic wand we will create in future. Trust no future. There is a famous statement. What does it say? Trust no future, however. In future, in everything in future. What is in future? In present we want. In present we are suffering with so many kind of inconveniences. Birth is anyway happening. Old age is anyway happening. Diseases are going on and people are dying. What have they done in the last 300 years of modern science? simply cheated the human society and not only that the reality is the soon the civilization will end because the problems they have created and i told you that example 
when you put frog on water if you put it on hot water it will jump out immediately if you put it in normal water and slowly heat the water the frog is cooked it does not even come to know what dangerous position it is being brought into true the same way the human society is not aware today what dangerous position we are being brought into by this so called proper words rascal scientist they do not know what they are doing they are destroying the whole nature in the name of cheating the society we are giving you comfort they are not giving comfort they are destroying what our comfort was there actually people can be more comfortable natural way okay we have destroyed the land we destroyed the air we destroyed the ground ground water we destroyed food we destroyed everything and in future when you say them what do you do now sir i am becoming old i am going to die now i am getting diseases in future are in future will tell me what have you done now if have you till now in 300 years so called research and thing anyway help me to solve this whole problems still people are becoming sick if it is not by uh, aids it is by zika virus if it is not zika virus what is that virus some another by ebola something the problem is there always and instead of solving death you are creating weapons which increase death now what is your contribution people are anyway dying you make a bomb then millions die together what do you do to solve the problem do something that nobody dies do something that nobody becomes old man do something that there is no more diseases that solution comes only by krishna consciousness there is no other way it can be solved so this is actually a hiranyakashipu civilization and our work is like a prahupad we want to bring prahupad consciousness sorry prahlad consciousness theek hai prahupad prahlad se we want to bring prahlad consciousness and presently what we are having a hiranyakashipu consciousness society enjoy 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 so what is going to be reserved who is going to win finally hiranyakashipu will be kill vanquish and prahlad will sustain theek hai so that is what will happen definitely we are going to win we know why krishna is there we know we are going to win prahlad is definitely going to win and that is going to be the result but we should uh, be sincere and continue with the service shila prabhupad ki shrimad bhagavatam ki Jai Jagannath Swami Jai Jagannath Jai Jagannath